video is, is assuming that you're a traffic signal technician and you're responsible for 170E traffic signal controllers. We won't get into any of that. If you know what that is, then you should be watching this. On the left here, we have a power supply out of a US traffic 170E. It's also called an IDC or a topping. They're all the same inside. This is the power supply. Uh, I've seen problems with these nylon screws holding down the transistors and regulators being either very loose or the heads broken off so they're no longer heat synced. I've seen several issues inside. You can get this wire out of the way. You see a white nylon plug down there. And you see the yellow wire is now soldered directly onto the circuit board. It no longer goes through the plug. Um, that's because that yellow wire is the neutral connection. It carries all the current and it frequently burns up inside the connector. So you just need to solder it straight onto the pin or straight onto the board. That'll fix a lot of problems. Next up is a McCain 170E. A little smiley face on there is what we do to show that we've done this repair. This controller in the wild will uh, fail when it gets hot. The 5 volt supply will go down to 4, 6, 4.5 or so and uh, the controller will watchdog out. The problems I've seen with these are these screws are often only finger tight but that hasn't been the real issue. It's been the main 5 volt regulator that I'm looking at right there in the center. The issue is that screw is only finger tight because there's no way to get a regular screwdriver on it unless you use an offset screwdriver and they might not have those in wherever this thing is made. So that screw in the dead center will be loose. The regulator gets very hot because the screw is loose and that black plastic washer that's right under the head of the screw will bake and just fall away in pieces. So what we do to fix these um, assuming the regulator is still okay, we remove the screw, put on good heat sink material behind the regulator, replace the black plastic washer, put in a longer screw, I think it's a 632, and then put a nut on the back. So that essentially double nuts it. It, it locks it on there. So you use an offset screwdriver to get that screw as tight as you possibly can, put a nut on the back, and you're good to go. Third up here is a Safetran 170E power supply. These have been the same for many years on this controller. And these have a couple issues, one of which are these two TO3 regulators on the back. This is the 12 volt one, the other one's 5 volt. These pins are often cut off too short to properly mate with the female connector inside. So you may just need to replace the, the regulator itself because the pin's been cut off too short. Quite often the female connector of the socket, which you can barely see down in there, is too loose. That's the part that pinches the pin. They'll, they'll have lost all their spring and they're just they're too wide so you need to print, pinch them back down. Safetran seems to have gone to a far cheaper style TO3 socket, which is what's causing this problem. Another issue on these, I've seen several of, of this problem. You can see it right here. These will come straight from the factory like this. This plastic clip should be holding this regulator down to the aluminum heat sink. The plastic clip is loose and the regulator has pulled out from underneath it. Some of these clips have even been turned over. Uh, very, very poorly installed. You'll find them looking exactly like that. They need to look like these two on the left. You need to get the, the regulators back under those clips and tighten the clips. And just like the other two controllers, these issues show up in 5 and possibly 12 volts being too low. 
they show up when it gets hot outside. So there you have it, the Safetran 170E, the McCain 170E, and the US Traffic slash IDC slash Topping 170E power supplies. That's how you take care of them. Thank you.